Madini Mazimba, I'm back again. So you know what? What I love about Tanto Wave is how he's trying to do something different. And I'm, I'm one of those people who who's very much appreciative. If I come across someone who's trying, you know what, uh, to go against the grain, or who's trying to create something new, a new fusion of music. And I've been saying this uh, for quite a long time now about Zim Artist. Kuti, for us to really find uh, success or for us to really dominate on the regional, not continental, or even global scene, we will need to create our own fusion. We will need to find our own sound. Yes, it's good to follow a sound that is popular elsewhere, sound that is popular in SA, sound that is popular in Nigeria, but we we'll always play second fiddle to those nations, and it will be hard for us to really stamp our authority you know, on the global music scene, but once we found once we find our own fusion we can control that fusion and we can dominate because everyone else will now be copying us so that is something that i'm very much uh that i respect tanto wave for and he's one of those artists who are good whereby whenever he releases something i will give it my attention because he pushes himself and is trying to do something uh you know what uh that is a bit different from everyone else so for me, I was thoroughly impressed by his uh, first Sungura Mseve album. And I also enjoyed his Ama Sungura EP, which he released earlier in the year. And that EP just definitely shows that he's trying to do something, uh, you know, a bit different from everyone else. Yes, it's Ama Piano, but he's giving it a fusion, trying to create a different or a new, uh, you know, a unique sound. So when, this, when, he, when he announced that he was going to release another album, my attention was definitely on that. I was waiting for that album. I wanted to see... Was it going to be better than the first Sungura Mseve, an album which I loved very, very much. And I think that year it went on to become my album of the year. I just loved uh, that project. So will this new project be better uh, you know what, than the last album? And having listened to this album, I have to say Tanto Wave is definitely among the best beat makers and producers we have in the country, in the hip-hop fraternity. You know what, the instrumentals on this project, they're just superb. I just love all of the instrumental the arrangements on this project and just like the first sungram seve the tracks on this album they just flow together very very well you know that is something that i loved uh very much about sungram seve one was that you could just play that album then you leave it and you let it play to the end without the need to skip a certain songs because that cohesives the, the the tracks they have now uh, that cohesiveness uh between them they just go very well together and it carries on onto this project. You could listen to this album, just let it play. Uh, and you could see what is definitely expanding his sound uh, from Sunguram Seva, the first one. So that is something that I very much love. So in terms of the production, they are done very, very well. I, I could actually say the instrumentals alone on these projects are better than many hip-hop projects out there. I've said it, they are definitely better. Now, Tanto Wave on this project is addressing a couple of issues, uh, starting from... You know what, when you are starting to create your own movement, there are a lot of people who want you to conform to certain arrangements. They want you to conform to a certain style. And Tanto Wave is sort of, uh, you know what, he's refusing uh, to be put in a cage. He's refusing to be put in a box. He wants uh, to be creative. He wants to, you know, to experiment. He wants to be expansive. And you get good on a lot of tracks on this album. He's sort of confronting that. Good. There are a lot of people want him to, to, to make a certain sound. There are a lot of people want him to do things this way. But you know what? He is the one who's creating this new sound. So he's saying, I'm going to do things my own way. You know, in those themes, uh, we get tricks such as Javnes, Tambira, Zakondo. Those ones are the ones which are definitely not in your face about this whole issue, saying, I'm not going to conform uh, you know, to what you want. And then there are a lot of people who want to control him, who want to stop him. You know, he addresses that on tracks such as Wagawanda, uh, No Cap, Dashika featuring Brian K. And you know what, you could see Kuti, I'm sure in his personal life, he's facing a lot of people who are challenging his sound. Some people want uh, to hijack his sound and he's definitely refusing that. He wants to remain, you know, the founder uh, you know, of Trepsu. And also on this album, he, had, he addresses the issue of mental health on the track in the chat Zima. And you know, the production of this track is just beautiful. I love how, you know, the guitar just singing along uh, with the vocals and i love it when the guitar sings and he has done that on quite a number of tracks on this album and on richard zima 
you know what it's about when you are facing a lot of issues a, f- a lot of challenges you are feeling like a failure so in the end you're just feeling good maybe if i just leave this earth if i just take my life maybe it will be better so this is a trick that a lot of people will relate to because mental health issues are definitely on the rise uh you know in these these years and you also touched on the issues of domestic violence on the track naibaba uh, and also dealt with some love and relationship issues on the track ziva mchinji kwa and these are all very very beautiful tracks not like on ziva the guitar that singing guitar again not i just love love that guitar so in terms of the themes i have to say the themes they are tackled very very well and uh, on the vocals you know tanto have delivered his signature vocal performance yes that sort of sungura i don't care system touch that kind of vibe which i still love and he's still uh he's still nailing it so in terms of the vocal performance i have to say tanto have did uh, a quite a solid job throughout uh, this whole project and you know to just conclude this summer review i have to say this is a very beautiful project to listen to tanto have is again delivered so if you are one of those people who enjoyed who loved sunguram seve part one you are definitely going to love this one and if you are a person who have never really listened to trepsu i think this also serves as a good project to start because the productions they are done very well the focus they are done very well and the themes they are also tackled very very well you could see good tanto he is definitely onto something and i can't wait to see what's coming in the future how is he going to develop his sound more how is he going to improve where is he going to improve you know that is something that i'm f- very much uh, looking forward to see and you know choosing my favorite track on this album i think i have to i may choose zero at this moment like i've said that singing guitar i love it uh, but all the other tracks and I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of tracks on this album now i definitely I highly recommend this project to anyone looking for good Zim music to listen to. It's definitely among the most impressive albums of 2022. My overall rating for this all, 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 for this album, I give it an 8.25 out of 10. It's a beautiful album to listen to. Now, I know a lot of you have managed to listen to this album. Uh, so go in the comment section. Tell me what's your favorite track on this whole album. What do you think about Trap Su? What, what are you expecting from Tanto Wave in the coming years? And after that, you know, just come back, like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you again next time.